everybody so today I'm changing out our propane uh, switch dual switch regulator valve um, it went bad and started leaking All right, turn my propane on here we go See, that leaked right around there So I went and got a replacement. I called Grand Design Customer Service, and uh, first they said to take it to the dealer, and uh, we're hundreds of miles away from the dealer, and something I can do myself. I don't really want to, you know, waste days, weeks, maybe months trying to do this at the dealer. So um, I, I told them I could get the part and I could replace it, and they said that'd be fine. Just send them the uh, receipt, and. Uh, that'd be good. I want to show you how I'm changing this out. It's a pretty simple process, uh, but I'll, I'll go ahead and show you just in case you have any questions about it. You may want to change it out yourself if you have this issue, so hopefully not, but uh, if you do, uh, here you go. You can see. So uh, First, I'll show you where it goes. I took the old one off. It bolts right up here. You see these screws right there. There's a screw. There's another one down here below this bracket. There they go. There's three. Uh, there's supposed to be four, but Grand Design decided to just put three on mine. So there's the three. I'm going to go ahead and put the new one in place here. And this is one of the hoses you got to screw up to. Here's your service hose that goes to all your appliances and everything. you got to also tighten in. And there's the other hose. Uh, this goes from the curbside, passenger side tank. And then there's another hose that comes in here on the regulator you'll see in just a second and that's the uh, that's the one for the driver side tank right here so one of the important things you want to remember always is to put some tape uh, the gas sealer tape on uh, the threads whenever you're hooking any of the gas up it comes in a little roll like this you can find it at the big box stores make sure you get the the yellow one for the gas the propane uh, I had a guy try to sell me the white one i even told him it was for propane but he still grabbed the white one i was like no that's not gonna do it so make sure you get the right one and and, and always always put a good amount around your threads on uh, each connection uh, on this regulator and as you can see there's three connections here there's one going to the curbside or passenger side tank uh, this side's going to be the driver side tank it's got a little elbow right there that goes down you got to put some thread on that also on the new regulator and then uh, hook your hose up there and you also have your uh, feed hose or your supply hose that goes under here and i'm going to hook up and also got plenty of tape around it also and after i get them all hooked hooked up and the regulator mounted in the in the place it goes with the three screws i'm gonna Hook everything up and then we'll spray some soapy water on it you can see what it looks like when you're testing for leaks okay so we got all the hoses hooked up uh, you can see the regulator in there there we go <laughs> got all the hoses hooked back up uh, i did add the uh i added an extra screw back there you can see that silver the one that uh grand design i guess didn't figure i needed but i think i kind of did so anyway it's got the four screws uh to them uh, if I could get over there, yeah, two on each side. You can you can see them on there. Got everything hooked back up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook up the tanks and uh, spray some soapy water on them and uh, see how it does. Okay, so I got my gas turned on. You can tell because if you look in there, you can see the top of the regulator there. It's green. Uh, it was red before that, so now it's green. That means that there's gas pressure on the regulator, which is what you want. I'm gonna spray it down with some soap. You can see that, you just need a little soapy water, a little spray bottle. There we go, so I'm just gonna spray it all down around the top. If you see any bubbles, then you know you got a gas leak. So, I didn't see any bubbles coming out, so we should be good. I'll test it a few more times, just in case. So there we go, we got the new one in. It's working fine, no leaks, no bubbles anywhere. Uh, so if you have any questions about the video, 
put some uh, comments below. Hopefully this will help you if uh, you got the same issue. Um, and always remember, you know, if you're not comfortable messing with uh, gas, cause that is flammable, uh, you're not comfortable with that, uh, you definitely just, you know, call your, uh, call your dealer or call a service tech out to, uh, to do that for you and um, let them take care of it if you're not comfortable doing it. Um, anyways, uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful if you have the same issue. Uh, we got a 2019 grand design, but this, this little dude was definitely leaking at the top as you could see in the video. So we had to replace it. I think the new one I, I purchased was around 75 bucks. You can find around 75 bucks to 100 bucks. Most uh, RV parts places. So, uh, pretty easy change out. Didn't take but about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, I guess the worst part was that it's 100 degrees outside right now in Hot Springs, Arkansas. So, <laughs> uh, other than that, it went pretty smooth.